Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Yeah, and um, Pencrest, uh, they're one of the premier teams in the Central League. Uh, they're, they, they they've been good for years. They've all, they've all, this has always been a really good game. And uh, th this, then this is going to be, uh, I think this, this could be a close game tonight within five points. This is, this is a, this is a matchup that both teams had circled on their calendars. And if Garden Valley, d now, now keep in mind, folks, that the Central League has changed their playoff format. It'll be a six-team playoff, playoff now. With the with the top two teams getting a bye, now if Garnet Valley could get the number two seed, that that would help them most so much, and uh, and the first and uh, and if they beat, beat Pancrest, that is a big step for them. That would that would be huge because that means we would skip Marple if that's correct, that or, or it, we would it, play it, a game at Marple on yeah. a later date if yeah. that's what it means. Because I, I know girls last year they got the bye. We went to Harrington automatically for the finals. I, I bet it's the same way. We just go to Marple, maybe a day later. My guess is that they're gonna that Garner Valley is gonna have to play two games minimum because it's gonna but because it because the first teams get by it's gonna be a four team playoff the first round between three through six seeds. Then it'll be one will be one through what one two and then whatever seeds are left, and then the finals. So Garner Valley is gonna have to play at least two games, and uh, and once again this once again this is a good Penn Crest Lions team. And this is this is and this is a match of the Garner, and this is a match of the Garner Valley. If they win, we get a huge advantage. Off the game for a sec, we have national anthem performers tonight. Aiden and Abby White will be singing our national anthems tonight. Uh, actually, just very soon, seconds away. So let's send it over to PA announcer Brian Pearlswig. Six 
Westwood Savage, junior number 34, Denzel Boyer. Head coach for the Lions is Mike Doyle. All right, that's your national anthem by Aiden and Abby White. And we are just about set for tip-off. If Garnet Valley wins, they move three games ahead of the three seed. Depending what Lower Marion does, it can stay the same, or they can move two games ahead. However, on the other side, Pencrest can move a game closer if Garnet Valley wins, and Lower Marion can over overtake Garnet Valley, or actually tie Garnet Valley for first if Garden Valley loses, depending on what Lower Mar Marion does. Well, you, well, you're just focused on winning tonight's game. Do you, the way the way teams lose games is by looking looking too much in the future. You have to focus on what's in front of you right now, and that's, and that's these Pancrest Lions. And, they, and, this, and this is one really good team, and, and they're, they're, no, they're nobody to mess around with. Coin wins the tip off. Schaller will take it for the Jags. Volantis to Pasolopoulos goes to McKee. Back to Schaller. Schaller up. Schaller good. That, that sw sweet little mid-range jumper that Schaller has, has been utilizing these past few weeks. Step, little st step back there, easy bucket for him. So with less than 30 seconds into the game, you have a 2-0 score. Pencrest will take it up. This is Marquise Tomlin. One thing that Garner Valley has to do tonight is they have to go through their through their best offensive player, which is Carl Schaller. That's a three-up, no good. Rebounded by McKee, missed field goal by Ben Stanton. 
I find when the offense goes through your point guard, that's when you get the best results. McKee. Schaller. Schaller drives. Ooh, just, just was picked off. That would have gone to a wide open coin. Pinecrest is playing airtight defense so far, which is what which is what they need in order to win this game. That's a three by Aiden Carroll. Yeah, you got so Pencrest retakes a lead with 6.35 to go. Now I'm wondering if this offense might flow a little better tonight because, because now they've got Neil Benwell back after injury. And, yeah, and, he's one of, and he's one of their best playmakers on offense as well. Benwell with knee issues back in the lineup. Good to see Benwell's doing better. Yep, absolutely. Considering that, I'm um, considering, uh, well, just well, it's just good that he's better. And, the, and, this, and this team need, can't, needs uh, shall, needs um, Benoit in order, in order to win. Coin up. He is fouled. And he'll get two at the line. Yeah, yeah Coin, uh, he's, he's, been, he's been doing a nice, really nice job getting those boards and a nice job of setting him up by Benoit. Now, now, now! Once again, our free to the key. I, I know I say this every game, but it's pretty important. But it's going to be pretty important against a really good team. Coin up and good, three three. Coin missed the free throw. They're going to point at Pencrest's direction. Yeah, Coach Brown doesn't look too happy about that call, and I'm and I'm I'm, I'm right there with him. It definitely looked like it went off off of number 34, uh, Denzel Boyer. Actually, Alec, you have a better angle than me. It's a pretty full house tonight, as you can see on your screen. So where it was, I didn't have the clear angle that you did. So yeah. I trust you on this one. Yeah, and uh, it's, of course, like you said, the crowd—it's a full crowd tonight. It's, it, so it shows a lot. They're, they're showing a lot of for, uh, support for this team, even though it, even though it's midterm week. We know we know it's we know everyone's very busy. You have to study for a test now instead of for, for moving from the block schedule to the rotation. Yeah. So actually, Pencrest, the girls had to play at five today, uh, because Pencrest policy on midterms. But it's a good show out tonight. Marquise Tomlin hit the three for Pencrest. Yeah. I like that Garner Valley's getting getting to the line. And that's that's what that's how you put that's how you get team get teams in a corner. Sahir Lee called for the foul. Ben Wall for two. Up and good. Makes it six four. Pencrest. Now ben, now Pencrest seems to be very very strong from outside the arc. So 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 Garner Valley could see them adjusting their game plan for be, to be more aggressive out, out on the arc defense wise instead of maybe maybe settling in the paint. Benawal makes both effortlessly. Makes it 6-5 Pencross. 5.15 to go. Number five, Marquise Tomlin. Benawal's gonna be called for the push. And, uh, and that's that's from aggressive defense. That's a, that's a that's a hard foul, but that but that, that's one I'm completely okay with. Number two, Aiden Carroll will inbound. Lee. P Pencrest, they set the pick. Another Ooh, foul that's not a foul. He, he, how is that a foul? He didn't. He didn't have control of the ball. Uh, that's kind of that's that's one of those fouls that that kind of like that kind of like ticks you off a little bit in, in a sense because number number two uh, Aiden Carroll he he was still juggling the ball and Benoit tried to reach for it so therefore that I don't think that should have been a foul well I think th there there are some things that refs just call automatically and and they'll just call the reach on that every time not that it's right but they just do yeah yeah I feel I feel like they, that they need to look more closely at, at what's actually going on. Stanton makes it 8-5, Garnet Valley. Uh, Pencrest, pardon me. Schaller. Oh, McKee. Got out of the corner. And I'm not sure if he was expecting that pass. Nice moves by Benawal. Layup was no good, though. Aiden Carroll will get the rebound. 
He stepped out. For a second, I, I thought that, uh, who was it? I think I believe that was number five, uh, Marquise Tomlin. I thought he traveled for a second, but it doesn't really matter because he went out of bounds anyways. All right, so you got three, a little less than four minutes left. Schaller, nice pass. Poslopoulos, coin, open in the paint. Good defense by Pencrest. No, no. D please overturn that, please. I, uh, I, I hope that, that they overturn please this call because I thought that would, that would definitely want Pencrest. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like... I get one ref agree with the other that, that he had a better angle on and the one who said was going on in Valley's way was they end up going with his decision. Good makeup by the ref. Oh my gosh! Man, that little no look pass right to, right to a wide open Chris Coyne. One of the reasons wow. why Carl Schaller is the best point guard in the Central League, and that it's plays like that that have, that have, that have had Garden Valley win games. Oh wow. 8-7 Pencrest over Garner Valley. That probably just made my day. No, it, was, it, was, it, was a really, it was a real nice play. I'll, I'll say that much. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, 3.08 to go. Shout out to Dad. Watching live from New York. The Big Apple. Now, a lot of, a lot of soft fouls being called on both teams so far, in my opinion. be a foul on coin. Yeah, it, lo it looks, uh, by the way this game's Chinese tonight, it looks like that the officials are gonna, are gonna call a lot of things, which yeah. is why which is why I don't like, because I, I, I don't like when referees dictate the game. So, well, I think you have to be knowledgeable of each and every ref, and these refs are gonna call ticky-tack type of fouls. Yeah, so that, that's something that Garvalli has to keep in mind. May, maybe be a, may, they're gonna have to keep, be like hands off on defense. That's exactly what I was just about to say. 10-7, three-point game, still single possession. And you know how good the Jags are at shooting threes. McKee, no good. Rebounded by Coyne. Back to McKee. But it does look like they're not letting Garden Valley shoot the three. They're going to make him drive. Uh, that, that was a pretty sick a, block that, there by... Uh, good. Yeah, sick block there by Tomlin. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's one of the better players in Central League too. Uh, he's showing uh, he's showing uh, he's um showing out a little, bit, a little bit tonight. Schaller up and one. Carl Schaller. Yeah, not, tie this game right here. Yeah, he, he jumped up pretty high for that shot, and he, and he knew he was gonna get fouled, so he made an adjustment midair to to draw the foul, hit the shot, and get and get one more at the line. Overall, a really nice play there, play there by Schaller. Great answer by Schaller. Makes it 10-10. There's going to be a timeout on the floor. It's going to be by the Jags. 30-second timeout. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 2.35 left in the first. 10-10. Pencross will inbound. That's Ben Stanton. Yeah, Garvai clearly making adjustments on defense. It looks like they're, they're, they're giving them a little bit of space. That, that looks good from the beginning. That's from Aiden Carroll. Yeah, that's how Pankras makes it pay. You can't give them open shots. However, however, it seems like the officials aren't going to let you get hands on. So Garner Valley right now, kind of a little bit of a rock and a hard place. I'm curious to see how they figure this out. Benoit. He goes to his left. 
Open coin up and good. I can already tell this is going to be a good game. Yeah, offensively, it's going to be a high, I think it's going to be a high scoring one. Uh, Pancras clearly being aggressive on defense. They're, they're trying to swarm around the ball handler. However, Garner Valley, really smart, making nice adjustments to that, is, uh, is, able, to, is able to kick it out to find the wide open coin. It seems like coins gone 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 wide open underneath uh, on, on at least a few occasions. Okay, he'll go up. That's good. That's Denzel Boyer. He'll get to it at the line. Yeah, and Coach Brown once again not looking not looking too happy with the call there. And it's um. Yeah, it's uh that, that's the way it looks like it's the way it's going to be tonight. First one by Boyer is good. Well, well, Pancrest is certainly making their free throws today, which is going to be huge for them. I believe they're 100%. They're they're um, they're five or six from the line so far. Ooh, that was off by a little bit. Yeah, it looks like that uh, Boyer there is shooting shooting it a little bit on a line, like a dart. Why, like, like you know, how, like you throw darts at a dartboard. That's kind of how he, that's kind of how he shoots his free throws. Yeah. Boyer is 6'7", pretty yeah. big. Actually, it's one of the, probably one of the biggest we've seen this year. I think we saw a 6'9 kid. Yeah, from 6'11". I believe that's from Laura, Mar from Laura Marion, right? I think the one we saw was Upper Darby, but we will see one from Laura Marion. That's a good basket by Benawal. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be a good game as well next week on Thursday, I believe. Maybe we'll see Brett Brown, who knows, if there's not a game. Yeah, yeah nice defense there by Schaller. He, he got up there, he got up there against the, uh, looks like it's a six foot Carroll. He was able to block that shot while Schaller was, I believe is only like five six, five seven. Using every bit of that vertical as he does every game. 14-14 first period. Twenty-five seconds left to go. Schaller. All right, you got ten seconds left. I think the Jags are going to start to make a move right around the five-second mark. Pancras intercepts it. And take a shot. No good. All square, 14-14 after one, we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Beginning of the second, 14 all. We'll go up, no good. Oh, nice block by Joukowsky. Schaller grabs 
The blocked shot by Joukowsky. He'll go cross court to Langen. Yeah, and nice try, Pencrest closing that gap pretty quickly because um, a lot of other teams will allow a wide open three to uh, Langen or uh, or um, Apostle Polis right there. It's a foul. Will be on Aiden Carroll. Banawal, first one's good. Four for four from the free throw line. Six points on the night. Right, one thing that Banawal has definitely improved out over from last year, this year is, is his free throw percentage. Very, I am very, I'm very impressed with how, with how he's been shooting here this year. Def definitely, definitely, definitely much better than last year. Almost picked off. Shots up, that's a tough shot. Nothing you could do about that. Marquise Tomlin with the shot. You yeah. have 16-16 game just past the seven minute mark. Yeah, and he's, and they, and he's been the one that's definitely been, that's definitely been going. Pankrest Stavitz is, is going through him. So I think if you shut down him, you shut down that entire offense. Benawal, just a little long. Joukowsky goes back out. It's the second consecutive rebound. Benawal, that's good. Pencrest um, actually protesting for the ticky tack foul. Yeah. It's one. Yeah, and um, and uh, it's got, they're definitely. So both teams are definitely trying to get those fouls tonight. You can, you can see by the you can, you can see by by how by how the uh, officials gave it gave off their tone early in the game. Yeah, head coach Mike Doyle was not happy, not happy in the slightest. Then a wall, deep three, just a little short, rebounded by Aiden Carroll, I'll just past the six minute mark. I'll be honest, I thought that was blocked at first. The way the way he came off his hand, it didn't look like he was too comfortable with it, too comfortable shooting that ball. However, however, so far Garnvalle has been shooting really well. That's M1. That's Sire Lee. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Right, right call. Nice play there by by number 23, Sire Lee. Sire Lee. One more. Oh, that's no good, but a rebound. Nice block by Coyne. Pulls it down. Yeah, one Keep. thing. Yeah, one thing. Pencrest has definitely had the advantage. Advantage is the advantages in, in the, is those boards um, offensively. Offensive boards could define tonight's game, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens. I think we're so used to saying that the Jags have the advantage on the boards. McKee for three. Good. But as I was saying, we're so used to saying the Jags have the advantage on the boards that it's only once in a while that we say that the opposition has the advantage. Yeah, th yeah, th yeah. And this is this is where Pinecrest has the advantage. That, and this is this this is a game where Garner Valley w could show how how good they how good they really are. If they, they're able to adjust and, and able and able to uh, and able to overcome these obstacles. This would be a big game in the power rankings. Oh, great steal by Joukowsky. Good. Man, what a, what a nice display there by Joukowsky. Really, really impressive. He read the passer's eyes, intercepted it, and, and went back for the, easy, for the easy layup. A nice adjustment by him as well. Joukowsky, then committed to Penn's College, if I'm not wrong, for basketball. He's certainly been a valuable bench player for Garden Valley the last two years, and, uh, and if he's going away for college, I, I I would not be surprised. 358, deep three, no good. That's up and good by Denzel Boyer. 
Well, like you said, uh, like we like like we were saying, uh, the height advantage. Pinecrest has, Pinecrest has the height advantage, and Boyer using every bit of his height to get that get that rebound and get and get and get that put back. Schaller. Up, oh, no good. That's up and good for Marquise Tomlin. And Tomlin, see, he's having himself a night so far. Driving, he's had, he's had, he's had, he's had, he's had his way. Seven points on the night for Tomlin. Pretty spread out attack from the Pencrest team. Yeah, it's and so far it's been working for them, and it's probably been working for them all year. It's what you typically get with a balanced offense like Pencrest. With a up-tempo offense like Garnet Valley, you you may not get that spread out attack, but you get yep. a lot of fast breaks and a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of fast breaks uh, and a a lot of uh, turnovers. Just as well. quick passes, quick shots, and also fouls. That's that's. Us. I don't like that call. I thought Joukowsky was straight up there, and and the, and the Pencrest player went barreling into him, which caused a collision there. And uh, and but and I think the Pencrest player was trying to sell that call a little bit there, and he and he was able to do that. Marquise Tomlin takes the ball up. They're just going to pass it around until they find the smart shot. Doesn't care how many, how much time comes off the clock. That's just the way Pencrest rolls. Yeah, yeah, they're a smart team like that. That was not the smart shot. Yeah, and Tomlin, Tomlin's been definitely taking those wild shots tonight, and so far it's worked, but not there. And a wall. Walk. I don't know there. That looked like it was two steps. One, one, two, one, two, and I think that I think I threw the referee off there. Is that the, those long strides that he has? He's, I mean, he's not he's not a small dude. He's a big dude. I'm wondering if that may threw the referee off because I was I was a bit surprised that that, that travel was called there. Neil Benawal, six four, and that's only on the sheet. Yeah, and I and and I think he's got at least another inch or two on him. To be quite, to be quite honest with you. I mean, like often what teams do is they'll often get, get, get with, with their heights they release, they'll often do, the, do them like, like, an inch short, like an inch or two shorter than they actually are. Like, for example, Ben Simmons. On a roster, says he's 6'10", but when he's really 7 foot. Coyne. Three, no good. Just pushed it a little bit. 24-23, yeah. Pencrest. One, 20 left to go. Schaller rips away from him. No look pass. Apostolopoulos, good. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. A nice shot there by by Apostolopoulos getting that shot up. And Schaller once again ma making the great pass and getting and getting Garn Valley the lead back. Schaller, Benawal. McKee, no good, Coin. Schaller, that's no good, and it's a charge. I think he was in that designated zone. Yeah, yeah, Coach, yeah, and I'm not sure what's, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. It was the right call, though, I'll tell you that much. And if I were Pencrest here, I would just hold it till the last shot here. There's no reason to force anything. Yeah. Very close game, 25-24, 26 seconds left to go. A lot of people coming out tonight. No good. Schaller. Schaller up, good. Man, what a shot there by Schaller, getting, getting all the way up there. And a nice end of this, to the second quarter for Garnet Valley, and uh, on, on a nice run too, if, I, if, I'll, if I'll say that much. 
That's in the half, 27-24 at the half. We'll be back. But, it, but in the meantime, enjoy the Garden Valley dance team.
shout out to uh, the victors today over Pencrest and of course good friends of ours the Garner Valley girls basketball team yep uh, as you may have seen Michael Anderson Mario's Barry and maybe Abby Anderson were in the picture there shout out to them after a nice after a nice win over Pencrest then moving to 13 and 2 I believe it's on So we're back, 27-24, uh, beginning of the third period. So Jag girls won today. They will maintain their position in the Central League Tournament. They will play Ridley Monday in our most stacked game, uh, stacked week in probably the regular season. The, uh, it's gonna be yeah. uh, like NBC Sports Championship season. It's gonna be uh, prime time Garden Valley basketball. Yeah, I mean, like, makes. I mean, like Ridley's definitely a team that that Garden Valley can beat. I mean, like they, I mean, like they only lost them by by a few points when they played them away at the beginning of the year, and they're and they're definitely a better team than they were at than they were at, at when they first played Ridley. I think that, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a really good game, I think. And I call it prime time. I call it a week because boys play the Aces of Lower Marion, the team that they lost to in Ardmore. Yep. Yep. The Reap. Just a couple months ago. I find that this is an advantage for both teams because when you lose the first time around, it, it gives you motivation and fuels you to win the second time around. And, na and now you can make adjustments because you've, you've seen them once. Carl Schaller. Oh, what a dish. Oh, what a block. I'm surprised that that wasn't a foul call. Why well, there wasn't a foul call because I thought he was slapped in the back for a second. And Coach Brown once again going after the going after the referee there, and I don't blame him. There. I don't blame him. It definitely looked like he walked there for a second. That is number 30, 23, uh, Sahar Lee. Benawa, coin. Uh, McKee, Benawa, good. Now, now here's what Garden Valley's got to do. They got to guard the guard the three point line here because that that's clearly been Pencrest's strength so far. Even though even though even with all the height they have, which is kind of ironic. Aiden Carroll, stolen by Schaller. No foul the there. I thought that was a foul. And uh, Mick, he was he was shoved to the ground. I mean, like, how do you not call that there if you're the referee? I mean, like, you call it ticky-tacky for us, we don't call that? Come on now. Wow. Okay. Uh, Sahir so Lee with the basket, 32-29. I like the play design there to get Benoit the ball. Locked. Three. My God, these referees tonight have been uh, have you been what do you what do you call it brutal? The uh, I'm not sure that's a foul, McKee. I th I didn't think he, I didn't think he really touched him all that much. Once again, another ticky tacky foul there being called, and, it, and it's really fr it's been really frustrating to these fans and, and to these players and these coaches uh, for Garner Valley. I have less of a problem than that. Um, why didn't you call it on the other end? Yeah, I mean, like you got you got to keep it consistent. That's my problem with with tonight's officiating. I feel like it's not being consistent enough. Well, well Pen Carrot to Pencrest, they've been taking advantage of it and they've been making their free throws. That actually looks like a lane violation by Apostle Polis. Didn't call it. Uh, it. Up and barely good. 32 all. McKee. Coin. Benawal. Foul? No foul there? Maybe he was hit on the arm too. Oh my god. 
a frustrated Coach Brown will call a timeout. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to call a bench warning. At least I think they are. That's Wait, so they're, what, what? They're not calling anything? So a bench warning's been called for Garnet Valley. I mean, like, come on now. I mean, like, you're going to, you're going to officiate like that and you're going to call foul bar, bench warning Garnet Valley? Come on now. Wait, so they're not calling on Pencrest? Nope. They're not, like, jump, okay. Good, good basketball shower. Shower, man, he's been having one heck of a night and uh, I, give, I give a lot of credit to him. Still a little confused of what's going on, but nonetheless, great basket by Schaller. 34 yep. all. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, man, what a nice. That was dangerous, but a nice pass, though. <laughs> Good defense from the Jaguars. Three. Up. Rebound by Benawal. Benawal. Poslopolis. Yeah, Ben Wall. Do you like do you like that Garner Valley is taking their time here? They're not rushing anything, and that's and that's what's that's what that's what's kept them in this game so far. It's being disciplined. That's good. McKee for three, no good. Now there's a timeout. That that's a timeout. And now okay. now it's a timeout. Okay. At least that's clear. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 34-34. All right, this is Marquise Tomlin. Nice steal by Benawal. There we go. Benawal, good. Tie is broken. 36-34 in a low-scoring game. That, 2 33 that, left to go. What a nice move there by Benawal. Doing the little Euro step at the rim there. Using every bit of his length and, and ver vertical and uh, and wingspan there to get that to get that basket. It may look easy, but I can assure you it's not. Good D. Boyer. Sahir Lee. It's 
stolen by Benawal. Coach Brown trying to instruct to uh, make a play out of this, try to get the most out of this possession. Trying to make it a two possession game. Yeah, and uh, Garnet Valley, they've, they've done a nice job of, uh, of, of, of keeping Pancrest at, arm, at like, at, like arm's length here. And, like, I feel, like, so far, I, f I, feel, I feel very well about Garnet Valley's chances of winning here. Joukowsky gets it in. McKee, just a little short. He goes up. No good. Joukowsky, three, third rebound. He gets hacked. Two at the line. There we go. There we go. Now that's what Garnet Valley needed. Get to, get to the line. Get and get just get to the line here. And actually, you know, there's only been one. There's only been one foul by each team in this third quarter. By the by the way, it seems it uh, it's there's more. Jukowski. No good. You have 126, 37, 34. <laughs> uh, I hear someone ch 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 uh, chanting dribble, 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 pass. I believe that's from a video uh, of some sorts, uh, another uh, another high school basketball game. It's I believe it's meant to troll, I think, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know, but Jag Nation does some of the greatest stuff. That they do. Three. No good. Great job by rebounding by McKee over a 6 7 Boyer. Schaller. Ben a wall. 20 seconds left. Just hold for the last shot. Yeah, I like the guard values holding here until the last shot. There's no reason to rush anything. Trying to make a two-possession game. Schaller, Tchaikovsky. A little strong. Tip in. Apostolopoulos. Yeah, nice put. Nice, nice, nice put back there by Apostolopoulos. Get, getting up there, and, uh, and the Pancrest uh, players didn't realize it as well. Nice ending to this third quarter for Garden Valley. Now they're up 39-34. Five-point game, 39-34. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Eight minutes, two times four, four times two. 39-34. This, this is where you see where teams are made of here. It's only a five-point game. Anyone could win here. If you're going to value, you got the advantage right now. You got, you're on home court. You got to close it out. However, you cannot let Pancrest back into this game. Three. That's good. That's from Stanton. And that's how Pancrest gets back in this game, by shooting the three like, just like that. Shaller will take it for the Jags. Now this um, is 
Oh, this is the, the quarter where someone needs to step up and take control here. Doesn't matter who, it just needs to be someone. Joukowsky looked to be that someone. That was no good. But I like the thought. Yeah, it's, yeah it was a good shot. I've no, I have no problem with it. Just, just going to convert. 7.09 left to go. Got seven. Seven minutes. Sire Lee makes a move. Stanton. Ooh, Can't that's a walk off. there. That's a walk. Oh, what a stuff by Gannon McKee. It's going to the Jags. Like, I thought that, uh, that's, that Stanton there pick, uh, picked up both feet. And, and after, he got, after he got the ball, he picked up both feet and traveled and, and started dribbling again, which is a, which is a big no-no. However, however, once again, uh, they got away with it. And I feel like there, that there's been a lot of missed travels tonight, if I'm not wrong. Schaller. Benawal, three. Good! All right, 42-37. 5.30 to go, uh, 6.30 to go, pardon me. Ooh, Sire Lee trying to make a move. Kickball violation. That's not a walk. Well, in technicality, that did hit his foot. I don't it know it they, did, but I feel like beforehand I, that he walked. He picked up his that uh, that um, uh, Lee picked up his pivot foot. That's no good. You gotta communicate there if you're going to Valley. Three. Lee, no good. Rebounded by McKee. Six minutes left to go. Benamal will take it up. Schaller. Ooh, no foul there? Man, he, man, he wasn't straight up there and there was no call. Air ball. All right. Uh, I mean, like, a lot of controversial calls tonight if you haven't heard what I Schaller, said. step back. No good. Oh, oh my. Yeah, like, you don't need your couch to get injured again. Lee, Stanton, uh-oh. No good. Rebounded by Shally. Can't leave that, him open. Yeah, though. yeah. usually he makes you pay there. That's rare they didn't do that there. Postlopoulos, no good. Rebounded by Stanton. One thing that we haven't seen Postlopoulos do now, he's hit a three, which which, you, which I haven't seen for, which I, ha, which I don't think there's been any home game where he's not hit a three. That's good. 42-39. Pankhurst trying to call for a foul of their own. Yeah, and they're, they're definitely looking for a foul, and I don't blame their, their head coach for not being, for not being pleased right there. Uh, that, that, did look, that did look like a foul there once again. Joukowsky. Little over his head. Uh, look like ball. that was a good miscommunication there, it looked like. I thought it's, or, or do you just overthrow him? It looked like that, that Joukowsky was expecting him to spin the other way rather than the way he did. Uh, I, I think... I think it was just a little over his head. 428 left to go, 4239. Hopefully it doesn't come to haunt them. Inside, up, good. Two point game. One point game. One point game. Yeah, well, nice shot there by Tomlin. Got that up there. Timeout. Garden Valley. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes left to go. 42-41. Yeah, and uh, it's been a, it's been a really good game so far. One point game, just like we all just like we all expected, I think. But oh, up and one. Do you think this game has been overshadowed by controversy? I think, unfortunately, it has. Yes, like there's, there's. I feel like that fish tank wise, there's been a ton of controversy. How, however, 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 other than that, it's been a really good game by both teams tonight. Forty-five, forty-one, three forty-seven left to go. Three thirty-six left to go. Good defense from the Jags. Both teams are going to try to slow down the tempo. Yeah, and uh, and Pankers is definitely is definitely taking their time here. Stanton, that looked pretty good. No good. I, th I thought that was going in off his hands. It looked like a good shot. It looked really good. Up, that's no good. Chris Coyne pulls down. Three I, minutes to go. I love the position that Chris Coyne's getting there, boxing out. Jump, jumping up as high as he can to get that rebound. Schaller. Oh, it's a foul. Yeah, that's going to be a blocking foul there, Look, I think. That's his third. He's, yeah. he's in foul trouble. Big. Yeah, lo he's lucky, though, that's this late in the game. Schaller. Oh, in and out. 46-41. Physics normally say that that ball goes in, but it's but but nonetheless it rims out. That one's good. 46-41. He makes one out of two. 2:52 to go. And uh, this is it, coming down to the wire here, just like we all expected it to. And Pinecrest, what, what they should do, now, what they should do here, they need, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal a little bit. However, they also need they also need to be disciplined. Look for the best shots. Luck, luckily, Garnby doesn't look like they're in foul trouble because they only they only have three fouls on the uh, now, on, on in the half. I don't think this game's going to come down. Well, it will if someone fouls, but. For, yeah. for the moment, it won't come down to free throws. Yeah, I mean, like, it looks like that. I mean, Pankhurst is going to be looking for three here all the way. Yeah. yeah, they're certainly looking for, get, trying to get that look. Sire Lee goes up. No good. Apostle Apollos gets a grab. Two minutes left to go. Nice steal! Nice steal there by by uh, by Tomlin. Probably a game saving steal right there. Three, no good. Pasolopoulos. Oh, he couldn't hang on. Pencrest will call a timeout. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 46-41. Trying to make some cuts. Pancrest. Trying to get the ball to Stanton for a three. As they are down five. 142 to go. 
Yeah, they better, they better get, get a shot off soon because uh, they're, they're, this isn't really a time. When you're down by five with 130 left to go, you shouldn't really be taking your time here. Three. Good. That's what they needed. That's Tomlin with the three. Makes it 46-44, Jags. It's a foul. It'll be two on Tomlin. Number, number 33, Denzel Quinn will come in. I think this is his first appearance today. Yep. Oh. Schaller. Yeah, and that nice job by Schaller there, avoiding avoiding what looked like uh, Quinn there. Because when you when you avoid when you avoid someone they're trying to draw a charge, that's 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 usually called a block on the opponent there. So nice job by Schaller there, get, get, getting that get, drawing that foul there. Good, Shallow makes it. 47-44. And for Pancrest, this isn't a game that's, this isn't like a, like a, like a height to get to. It's only 15 minutes away. And so their, their fans are, 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 are here tonight. We can hear them in the background. That one's no good. Still a single possession game. Now if I'm Garnet Valley, I would, I will be 100, I would be 100% guarding the three here. There's, if they get an easy two, that's fine. We cannot allow them to get a good look from three. Three. That's good. So less than a minute, 47-47. Hold it. Yeah. And, worst, uh, worst comes to worst, you come to OT. Yeah, hold, yeah, hold the ball till the last second here. There's no reason to rush anything. But they're going to try to force a turnover. They're going to try to force a steal. With the yeah. Game. So... Be cautious. Chikowski. Like, a foul's not really going to help them here because they still they still have, they still have like one more to go. They're going to they're going to foul them. Now, if I'm if I'm inbounding the ball, I'm I'm drawing one, drawing a play up to get it to my best free throw shooter. And that's what Coach Brown's going to do right here. All right, there's going to be a timeout on the floor. Jags will call it. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Only seconds on the clock. Seconds. 18, 19, 18.6. 18.6 .6 left on the clock for the Jags to hit a buzzer beater and win the game. If not, they'll head to overtime or if Pencrest first forces a turnover, that'll happen. Pencrest could win. But they'll pass into the bass court. Now, why would you let, just let the ball go to Schaller there, who's clearly, clearly your best, your best free throw shooter? Nine seconds left. Yeah. Schaller, Benawal. <laughs> Shoot, McKee. Oh, just off. We're going to overtime. <sighs> I don't think they saw the clock. Yeah, I don't think they did either. I mean, like how? I mean, like uh, if you're going to Valley, there you gotta know what time it is. That in that case, uh, well, it, that hopefully, that hopefully won't come to bite them. But not, not what you, not exactly what you wanted to see there um, at the end of that quarter. 
a nightmare for both teams because yeah. both teams have midterms. Both teams just want to come out with a win. They don't want to play more basketball. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think both teams do either. And then I think this is, this is our first overtime game of the year. First overtime of the year. This has been, how many overtimes did we have last year, Alec? We had, we had a double overtime versus, a double Laura, overtime. versus yeah. Laura Mary, and we, had a, and we had an overtime with the girls game versus Haverford. Ooh. So, I, I. Now, a lot of people came to this game today, brought out some media, brought out some football players, Pro football players, to be exact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot, uh, of, lo lot of faces want to see this high school game, and they got a treat. They got yeah. a treat in this game today. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been one heck of a game, and uh, hopefully Garnaby comes out with the win here. But but overall, just just a great game by both teams. Coin wins the tip. Poslopoulos has it, and it'll go to Schaller, and they'll run the offense. Schaller. Foul, and he'll get two. Line. There you go. That's exactly what you want there. Schaller getting to the line. Schaller, first one's good. Schaller up, no good. Coin gets the rebound, battle wall. Oh, that would have been a dagger. Schaller with the rebound. Poslopoulos. There that you go. That would have been a dagger. That was huge right there, getting that rebound. But now, now what Garnaby has to do is like, here is they gotta take advantage of it. They're just gonna hold it. Apostolopoulos. Benawal. He goes up. Good. Nice basket there by Benawal. Get, getting it getting in there and uh, and, uh, and just a nice play overall with making adjustment mid-air. Sire Lee tipped off Benawal, stays with Pencrest. And uh, and Garf, I, do, I like the like the aggressive defense there, I really do. This has been a pretty low scoring chess match. Yeah, you could say, you could probably you could, you could probably say that again and uh, I think we expect it to be much higher scoring than 50-47 in overtime. Actually, I didn't. Pencrest actually likes to keep it uh, low scoring. I remember uh, Tyler Norwood even though he was a probably a division 2 player, they would o always have games in the 40s. Yeah, and uh, but also with with Pencrest's high scoring offense as well, you you have you have you were, I was factoring that in, apparently. But I guess guess that's not going correctly. All right, it'll stay with Pencrest. So this has been a quick moving overtime too. We're we're already just about halfway, a, a little bit before halfway done this this overtime. Go around. Aiden Carroll. Up, and that's good. Wow. He's out Tom, of the game. Tomlin, if not for them, this game would already be, if not for Tomlin, this game would definitely, would definitely be over. 50-49, 13 points for, uh, for uh, Tomlin. Goes up, Schaller tries to bank it in, no good. 
13 points for Tomlin, uh, 11 points for Carroll. Sahir Lee, Stanton, three, good. That was the last thing you wanted there, Stan getting a wide open three in the corner. 52-50. Can't panic here right now if you're going to Valley. Timeout, Jags. All right, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 52-50 in favor of the Lions. In OT, 116 left to go. Joukowsky will inbound for the Jags. You, you see these swings of four points, five points, but they all disappear. Yeah, both, that's what both teams can do. Joukowsky, pick by Coin. Ooh, very close. Great snag yeah, by Venawal. He drives. Coin for deep two. That's good. That, it, that ties the game. 50 seconds to go. 52 52. Yeah, and a clutch basket there by Coin. Exactly what you wanted there. A little fumble for the ball. That's off peg crest. That's off peg crest. That's Jack Ball. That is drag ball, ladies and gentlemen. 40.5 left to go in overtime. What a nice basket there. Well, I mean, what a nice play there by Apostopo starting it all. St make Game Pankers to scramble there to get a pass out, and then, which ca causing Lee to fumble, get, causing a, a huge turnover. Uh, what a nice play there by Apostopo and Coin. Benawal. Joukowsky. What are you going to do? Hold again? Yeah, they're just going to hold it again. We could be going to double OT, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, and like if you if you foul here, you're, 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 Garn Valley's already in the bonus, so, so you don't want to do that. Timeout for the Jags. 9.5 left to go. We're going to run through this timeout because I, I just can't wait to see what Coach Brown has in his head I, to I, go and implement it. Yeah, and I think I, and he's you, you know how good he is at drawing up screen plays and, and inbounds plays. It's gonna this I, I can I can't I mean like, I can't wait to see what happens here. I mean, like, who's gonna get the ball? Is it gonna be McKee? Is it gonna be Schaller? Is it gonna be Benawal? Who knows? I would think it's Benawal because he can drive and shoot. He's a double threat. But what, so, what about Schaller though? He's been using that, that all night. I think Benawal's the bigger guy. I think Sch Schaller is an option, but if if you just want to, I think Ben Wall's the best shooter on the team, in my opinion. I, I think I think if you want the safe option from three, go with Ben Wall. Drive, all the above. Yeah, I mean, all the guys can shoot, but I just yeah. think Ben Wall's your option. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I completely agree with you in that case. I mean, like, but who? But who knows? They might be expecting you to go to Ben Wall, but who? But that that could cause Coach Brown. To cause uh, to 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 get to give a give a different guy the ball. Who knows? It could be a Pasta Polis who's standing in the corner and, and who's and who's one of the best shooters on this team. Nine point five left. Fifty two fifty two. Schaller trips. He was pushed. McKee. They call timeout. No. Schaller looked like he was pushed. Yeah, you could uh, that. I could I could have saw I could have seen it both ways though in uh, in, in either case. All right, so you have a 30 second, 30 second timeout, 52-52. That, that didn't work. 
But you didn't really see what the play was going to be. Because it just, yeah. it folded because Carl was pushed. Yeah, I, yeah, another controversial call. I could, however, I'm fine with them. I'm fine with the no call there because it, it, you could, I could have seen it both ways. I think it could have tripped, but he also could have been pushed. It could have been, it could have been a combination of both, but who knows? And uh, maybe if they were earlier in the game, they might have called it. But, but now double OT, probably the last possession of this period of overtime. You don't, you can't really make that make that call there if you're not sure. All right, you got 7.4 on the clock. Let's see what they draw up. Schaller. All right, All right, you got five on the clock. There go. All right, you got to go. Three. Oh, we're going to double OT. Uh. Oh. 52-52. I feel like that was the Jags. That, that was their best chance to cap it off there. I think it's going to get a lot more difficult. Uh, yeah, I was... I was the second time in a row that, that it looked like that they didn't know what the time was. I think you got you, your ben, if you're the bench, you got you got to you got to start shouting out what the clock is. I mean, because you got you got to help out your teammates, you help out your teammates in any way, any way you can, and that's the way you do it. You shout you shout out the shot clock, and then that, and I feel like that gives them a better, a better uh, grasp of what's going on. All right, 52-52. We are heading into double OT. This for a broadcast stat, this is our second double OT ever. The loss to Lower Marion was the first one here at home. That was one of the first games of our broadcast ever. Yeah, and it was one. It was one of our biggest games too, actually. Uh, and uh, this this is coming down to the wire here, and uh, and I, I wasn't coming here expecting double o o OT here. All right, we are just out of the timeout. 52-52. It's been a barn burner here, ladies and gentlemen. It certainly has. All right. Four minutes now instead of five for this double overtime. Yeah, that was my mistake in the first place. I thought it was, it was five minutes to start, up for, to start for overtime. It turns out it's four. I guess, yeah, it is four. Apostolopoulos, Tchaikovsky. Want to see a little bit of inside out action yeah. for uh, the Jags. Try to get into the paint, maybe out, look for a three. That doesn't work, go back in, go for two. Yeah, and um, and Pencrest is definitely playing uh, airtight defense at the moment. And, uh, at that, and they probably weren't able to play that earlier in the game. Schaller. Tchaikovsky. Up and one. What a huge basket there by Tchaikovsky. Getting up there, fighting through the contact, making it just midair. Banking, giving it a nice kiss off the glass and gets the end one. That, that is a huge basket. That fires up the crowd too. Good by Tchaikovsky, 55-52. Okay, you got to play some D. What? Yep. Now, here's what you got to do. You got to guard the three-point the three point line because that's what they're going to be looking for. Do they're going to look to tie the game. Do not foul. Uh -huh. Unless you do foul. Uh, uh, close call there. Um, it looked like there was a scramble for the ball there. I'm, I understand the call there. It looked that's like that okay. he was pushed. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm okay with the call there. The, no, there's and that's only gone by his third foul of, of the second half. There's no free throws involved. Yeah, if there are free throws, free throws involved, then I, then I might be a little bit more upset. Carroll. Marquise Tomlin. Two fifty-five to go. Up, and that's going to be a foul. This one will involve free throws. Yeah, he got he got coined a bite there. Is that uh, it's his fifth foul tonight. He just fouled out. Coin is done for the night. He had seven points on the night. Yeah, he had a nice night, and it looks like that McKee's going to take over for him. No good. And like we said, it's gonna come down to free throws and and pe and that that there could be could be costly for Pencrest. No.
No good. That one is good, 55-53. And if you're going to Valley here, hold the ball until you get a good shot here because you, you, you're in control now, you have the lead. Tchaikovsky, better walk. Schaller, two point jumper, no good. Rebounded. Oh, it's a foul on Schaller. I don't, uh, uh, it looks like Coach Brown's shouting something out. I'm not sure what it was. I'm, I'm wondering if he was, if he, was th if he didn't realize there was players back there because I think it, because I think he was trying to be smart about it because because he, he just didn't want uh, Tomlin to get an easy basket there. Fifty-five, fifty-three. Here's Marquise Tomlin. Goes around. Yeah, you, get, you better Stop get right. guarding the three-point line. They have to go inside. They go back out. That's, that's an error ball. That's not even close. I could tell. I could tell. Short coming off of his hands. Paslopoulos, three, no good. Just off. One forty-nine to go. Two-point game. Double OT. Up by no good. One forty left to go. Yeah, just hold the ball here. Last time I Paslopoulos took that three, I was. Uh, I think situationally. If it had been earlier in the game, I would have liked it, but not now. We're going to call a charge on Benawal. He's moving. He's moving. I don't know how that's a charge. Benawal, he's just... He, what, what I under, understand here is that Sahar Lee was moving there when the referee called that charge. When they called that charge. I am, I am, uh, in my opinion, that should be a block. I'm like, do you agree with me on that? Because I, th I, th I thought that was a pretty clear call, too. I don't think you've been this angry since playoffs last year, Alec. Well, it's an intense game, and it's a big one. It's a big matchup too, and it's a close. It's over, oh, double overtime, man. I, I get that. <laughs> one one thirteen left to go. Oh okay. yeah. No, I totally get you, Alex. This is probably the biggest game of the year for the Jags. Up and good. 50, we're, this is the same story all over again. 55, they're gonna hold for the last shot. We could be going to triple overtime. Yeah, and uh, it's Garnet, I mean like, Garnet Valley is in the, in the bonus at the moment, so any foul is gonna result in a shot at the line. Just, just wanted to say a thank you for anyone that has w watched the whole game. I, I mean, this, I mean, this has been a wild ride, this one. It's been a great game. And thank you to all our viewers, but a very special thank you for one that stuck through the whole thing. Uh huh. All right, he got 20 seconds left. We'll see it. I think they'll call a sec uh, timeout at the 10 second mark. I don't know. They only have one timeout left. I'd use it for something big. And it looks like they're just going to hold to the last second here. I'm wondering Ten. if he drives here. The key. Joukowsky, oh, that's blocked. Two, they're gonna call a timeout. Mm. So it's blocked. How much time is left on the clock? Are they gonna add more time? I'm not, sh I'm not sure, but we'll see. And, it's not, and, it's, and since they advance the ball, it's gonna be from down there. 2.1, they're gonna call 2.1. That, that's a lot of time there, I don't know. I don't know. That's a that's a little that's too it. much. I feel like it was maybe 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. I think sounds more right. I'm not sure. They're gonna put Boshman in to get a uh, get a big guy. Uh, th this is such an intense game. Yeah. If it goes to triple overtime, this would be a broadcast first. And and maybe a broadcast last. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen again. I don't think that's gonna happen again. 
people stuck around though. You have 2.1. Like everyone's pretty much still here. That's a lot of time. You can catch and shoot it. You may even have some time to get a little bit of a run. They're gonna chuck it way deep. And that's gonna be out. No one ever touched the ball, so it's gonna go it's to go will be able to inbound it from, from down at the ball. other end. They're gonna have some time. So what do you do in this situation, Alec? Uh, let's see. You get, you, it's, it's gonna be a, you're probably gonna get, it's probably gonna be a spot up shot. Oh, the first thing is know how much time is on the clock. There's 2.1 seconds left to go on the clock and... They're gonna talk it over. Yeah, and, uh, you're, and this is your last time out here, so, so Garner Valley has to be sure what they're doing. Oh, never mind. Pancrest is taking a full timeout. Pancrest will take a full timeout. Time right now, Eastern Time, 8:31. This game has gone hour and a half. And uh, it's, it's usually like what the length like of what these games do go, but it's just that this has gone. That, it, that, it's been a quick moving game because there hasn't been any points scored and there hasn't been any fouls called either. Now I, there's a disadvantage for both teams because both teams are weary from midterms today. Because yeah. I know I had to take them, you had to take them. Yeah. Midterms are midterms. Yeah. They have to wake up tomorrow and take midterms again. Yeah, and uh, so this is not good for any team. Yeah, I'm surprised that they played this. That like uh, this game was played at seven, say instead of like five thirty. Because, like you said, Pencrest policy on on uh, on on what's on like game times during midterms. That's what Pencrest did. They played the game JV at three thirty, um, varsity at five thirty. Two point one. All right, let's see what they draw up here. All right. Chikowski. Benawal. It's blocked. We're going to triple overtime, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this has been some game. <laughs> that's, 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 the, that's the least I can say. We'll be right Maybe, back, yeah, ladies we'll and gentlemen. Take a short Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My voice cannot hold up much longer. This has been a lot of broadcasting, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of talking. Yes, yeah. Triple I, overtime. Yeah, this you, is a first. Yep, you can say that again. For those who have stuck throughout this game. Wow, just uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. We're 20, we're 20 viewers right now. This is That's an all-time high for this season. And, uh, and this, has been one, this has been a really good game. You can play two, almost two full games, except it's not full minutes, it's four minutes. Three. No good, rebound by the six, six foot seven forward Denzel Boyer, and that one's good. Yeah, and, uh, and Chris Coyne, he, there he would have he been he big. Schaller. Joukowsky. McKee, good. Game is tied back up. Lane Keep opening, lane opening up. Still there. here. Yeah, la lane opening up from McKee there. I was surprised. I was surprised. Like you can't let him get to the basket like that. They drive Lee up, no good. Rebounded by Joukowsky. There we go. That's exactly what you want. Period number seven, 
Yeah, and uh, it's uh, this is <laughs> this is look. I, I mean, I mean, Garnvalley's gotten leads in, in these overtimes, but the, uh, but Kankers has been able to come back. They played one heck of a game on the road. Uh, it's I mean, like it's this isn't easy for them for both. I mean, for, for both teams for that matter. Jukowski three. Good. Jukowski, man, he has come up large in, the, in these uh, in these overtime periods. He is clutch. The the M1. Uh, in the second overtime, and now, now the go-ahead three with 2.30 left to go. Benawama steals it there. Carroll out, Lee. 2.20 left in triple overtime. Up, that's good from Lee. Man. One point game. Man, Lee's had a nice night with now 10 points on the night. 10 for Lee, 11 for Carroll, uh, 13 for Tomlin, and 13 for Boyer. Benawal inside. He's out. That's going to stick with the Jags. Yeah, he got. Yeah, and uh, that was a nice play there by Carroll. Got got right. Got it. Got got his hand in there at the last second. And if he hadn't got his hand there, that would have been an easy basket there for Benawal. Kowski, Benawal, three, little short. Rebounded by McKee, that's huge. Wasting more time off the clock. And that's a charge. How is that, a, how is that an illegal screen? He was set beforehand. He was set beforehand, he made the screen. I feel like, I feel like that uh, Pankhurst is trying to sell it a little bit there and, and Coach Brown is furious at that referee. And that's huge, man, because that gives Pencrest the ball back and they can take the lead. Oh, another controversial call. 60 59, 137 left to go. Triple overtime. I mean, like, I feel like the reason that the official called that there was because he was because uh, Tomlin tripped there. Three. No good. Rebounded by Jakowski. 124 left to go. Yeah, he's been clutch today. Now hold just hold the ball here. You got you have the advantage. Yeah, but Pencrest can start fouling at any time. Yeah, and uh, I mean, like the thing is, though, actually both teams are in the bonus now. Yeah, both teams are in the bonus, so free throws will happen for both teams. Less than a minute now. Schaller. It's foul, foul. foul. Carroll goes up. No good. 45 seconds. Now you heard me scream foul, foul there because I feel like that, that shallow was pushed to the ground there for a second. Am I right? Am I right am I, or am I wrong? What is this ref doing? Oh, no. it's, it's Coach Mike Doyle. Now, I feel, now let's go back to the last play by Schaller. I thought he was pushed to the ground by Tomlin there. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me on that or? Thank you. 44 seconds. We almost got a technical. Yeah, I mean, like, both teams are really, are really pissed off this officiating tonight. And the guys, like, I've, I've not been, as you probably have heard, I'm not pleased so far. But all right. I mean, like that. This has been a whirlwind, as yeah. Coach would say, our magical mystery tour. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 60-59. Now, I would assume you would hold the ball till they foul. Yeah, I think that's my guess too. You just can't turn it over. That's the one thing you cannot do. Yeah. Fouls will count as turnovers. Yep. Also, shout out to uh, Mr. Pearlswig on the PA. He's been very energetic all night. Yeah, yeah, I give him a lot of credit. This this has been a, this has been one heck of a game. Yeah, he's been he's been he's been on it tonight. I haven't heard made any mistakes, which is which is a PA announcer you can easily do. No, like it's he's, not like, easy. Like to he's do. one he, for I, I can say for sure he is the best PA announcer in Central League. Absolutely, and he got some anthem singers, which is pretty good too. Benawal will inbound to McKee. They're gonna rush him right away. Full on press. And it's going to be a foul on Pencrest. 
I would have I would have been a little bit displeased if I were Pancrest too. I thought for a second I thought that was gonna go the other His way. His head jerked back, so I got yeah. a little worried for yeah, a second. Yeah, I, I, at first I was thinking, you know, what, that could that could be a charge on Benawal. Benawal with two with a one and one. I I could, however, I, I understand why Pancrest is not happy with the call there. Now this is an important one and one here. Gar like I said, Garden Valley's got to make their free throws. Good. Here's one more. That's huge. No, that's that's a huge free throw for Ben Wall. And free throws, free throws, free throws, three fr free throws. All right, now it's a three-point game. So you know what they're going to do. You just have to defend it. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, it's not it's not really thinking about what they're doing, and now the crowd's getting into it. Now you gotta play. You gotta be aggressive while guarding that three. I feel like three. No good. Rebounded by McKee. They're gonna have to foul, which they do. Man, what a that like that was textbook great. That was textbook defense there by Garner Valley. What a that, that was great job there by I believe it was McKee, swarming Carroll and prevent and preventing him from hitting that game tying three. Nineteen point four on the clock. And now can ice this game. And now Garner Valley is in the double bonus. So Shallow will get two shots of the line after this timeout. Now these free throws are important. That you can make it hard or you can make it impossible just on two free throws. Yep. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back. Two free throws for Schaller. Two free throws to break their back and win this game. Yeah, and it's been one heck of a game for Garner Valley. Schaller, two free throws coming up. Good. All right, so that makes it very hard. Yeah, that makes it very hard. Make the next one, you break their back. Because five-point lead with 19.4 left to go. And uh, that, that, that you're going to make that really hard on Pencrest. Good. Clutch free throws by Carl Schaller. 19.4, 64-59. Schaller rebounds. And that's the game. And that, and this, and what a win for Garden Valley on midterm week against one of the best teams in the Central League. You put, you put, your, your, you put yourself in a great position to get a bye. I, you gotta be, you gotta be really impressed with what, with what Garden Valley brought to the table tonight. And I mean, and I mean, like it's, and I'm excited, and I'm excited for the next, for our next boys broadcast, which will be against, will be on, which will be Thursday next week versus the, the all. The, the all the all Central League team, Laura Marion, and we know we always know how good of a game that how good a game that is. This is that is the most this is the that will be the most tight game of the year, and I'm, and I'm really excited for it. Both free throws no good. You have six seconds left. Virtually impossible, and that is it. And that's good. Is I, I think that's good. I think uh, that shot was good. Uh, yes, that was it good. Is. Yeah, it's good. Nice shot there, though. Two point win. Garden Valley finally wins, 64-62 after three overtimes. Yeah, what a what a win for Garden Valley. The, they 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 are, this this shows how gritty and tough they are. Last they, they, they this is what, what the improvement I've seen from last year this year. Last year I'm not so sure they would have won. 
This year, I had full confidence in them winning. However, Pinecrest, they should be very happy with what, with what, with, with, with what they've done tonight. That's they it. Gave, they've gone by everything they had tonight. Gave it th a triple overtime on the road. I don't, think, I don't think anyone was expecting that coming into this game tonight. That's it for us. After a long broadcast, Mike Bichardi, Alec Eskin, I'm Ben Hoyt saying so long. Let's go Jags.